Hey everyone, DJ Sturf here. Alright, so apparently my shirt is see-through now. I don't know what's going on with that, but that's kind of weird and cool at the same time, I guess. You can see the scroll there. Alright, um, <laughs> what is going on with that? It's very weird. Um, alright, anyway, so here with Hoagie. I need one more thing from Laverne. So here we go. I think this is the linchpin here. Let's go back out here. Again, Day of the Tentacle Remastered. Alright, so here we are. And I can't go down the grandfather clock, but I think I can go up here. Yeah. Please? Okay! <laughs> Stupid tentacle. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. So one. Let's open the ice machine. And... I guess let's look at it. Hmm, looks like there's some kind of rodent down there. Please pick it up. Please. There. Yeah, yeah. Frozen hamster. <clears throat> oh! Alright. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna need to thaw that hamster. Alright, there we go. Alright, so let's look at some of these things. It looks like a poodle I once knew. Hmm, how decorative. I don't want it. Someone seems to have <laughs> bolted it to the table. <laughs> Laugh. I don't want it. So maniacal. Alright, let's read the plaque. In commemoration be, yeah, of the Constitutional Convention, interred by Thomas Jefferson, A.D. 1790. Here we go. Run over by a plow, A.D. 1795. Sorry about the dents. <clears throat> All right. I can't pick it up. But maybe I can open it. That's why I have a can opener. Weird sound for a can opener. Chateau de Cheap, 1775. All right, we're going to pick up the vinegar. All right, we're going to give this over to uh, to Hoagie, and that's the last element. Let's actually get on that now. So we're going to go back out here. Go over. Skunk cat over there. Over here to the Chronojohn. And we're going to put the vinegar. Use a vinegar with toilet. Alright, and then swap back to Hoagie. We're gonna get the vinegar. Yes! Finally. Do I need to give anything over the other times? No. Okay. Here we go. I need to see Red Edison. And I'm going to give him that gold pen as well as the vinegar. I've already given him the other ingredient. And we should have a battery. And then we're going to hook up Ben Franklin. Ah, the final element for my Oh, I already gave him the pen. Battery. Okay, cool. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. All right. Show show all the tools here. Show me your moves. I don't know what the point of having all those tools is, but um, those power tools back in the 1700s as well. <laughs> all right. A miracle cool. of modern science. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Can I just pick it up? Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Well, ah, nice. Is that Run. supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. All right, let's go back out to Ben Franklin. This should be enough, I think. I can use a battery with this. I think that was it. 
Ready for another brush with destiny? Sure, why not? <laughs> I'd rather mope around Splendid. some more. <laughs> like that option. Okay. There no. we go. Oops. Oh, come on now. All right, so I need to do Look, that action. It's very simple. I say now, and you push the kite. Comprende? I, I got you, Ben. I got you, Ben. God. <clears throat> Marvelous. Not to use it again. Oops. Got it. I already, I already used that out of my inventory, right? Look, it's very simple. No, wrong button. I say that one. Yes. Got it. Mar Marvelous. I've been playing DDR A too much. Push. No. Hit. Okay. We <laughs> should have said kite, shouldn't it? Instead of just the pocket. She's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. Run for your life. <laughs> now that was interesting. So now yeah. I have a charged battery, Say, can right? Can I see that kite for a <clears throat> second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. Oh, it dropped. I never got your name. Nice. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. <laughs> that Gosh, sandwich, thanks. All right. Grab the fully charged battery. <clears throat> is that everything in this area? It is, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So now I have a fully charged battery. I can't it. open it. Come I don't want to. Come on, use it. Flush <clears throat> my one chance of getting out of here. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> it worked. Okay. Chronojohn. Do I really have everything? I think I do. Yeah, all right. It's on Chronogon. I don't think it'll get much power from that. Oh, hold up. Pick up toilet. There's nothing to get. What? what? Okay, he's... There it is. Okay. Whoa. Alright, use Chrono John. There well, we I'm all ready to go, but I guess I'll have to wait for Bernard and Laverne. That's fair. That's fair. Alright, so. Laverne time. Let's go back, do some more damage with Laverne. No, I don't. Oh no, that would have been bad. I need one more thing. So the the smile. Remember that horse in that stable upstairs for some reason? Maybe we should add a rule that you can't dump sludge into the water supply. What manner of fool would do that in the first place? You're right. <laughs> John Hancock, a lot of good ideas, man. In game. <laughs> All right, I need to get those dentures. I need to put the horse to sleep. Ah, right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. There we go. Let's go upstairs. But you gotta admit, it's pretty well done game. Pretty well done. And the initial was fun too. All right, so. I don't have it with me. I just took a bum trip out here. Alright, whatever. I'm going back. 
Ah, I was dumb. I thought I had it. But indeed, I do not. Wish there were a warp to Chrono John. <laughs> Alright, going back here. I think Bernard has it. Yep. I don't remember what to do with this Swiss bank book, though. Alright, let's swap over. That's what I need. Yes. Alright, walking back. Put the horse to sleep with some bedtime stories. <clears throat> some bedtime horsies. Come on now. Go upstairs. And up the stairs again. Ahem. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. <laughs> blah, 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 okay. blah, 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 blah. Whoa. Give me that. Yoo-hoo. The horse is asleep, though. There's nothing else I can do with it. Dude, just grab it. No. Yipe. I think there's there's another. Where thing am I, I have gonna to put here. it? Where am I gonna put it? What do I have in my inventory? What will squeak? Nothing there. Okay. I have to come come back here then. Okay, I'm not done with uh, not done with Hoagie yet. I need to put the item in the chronogon and then I can swap back to Laverne. Dentures. All right, grab these dentures. Okay, so I have the smile, I have the hair, and I have the, uh, the laugh. Alright, so I got a thought of this hamster as well. So I'm gonna use the hamster in the microwave. And let, yeah, don't try this at home, achievement. Gosh, I hope this isn't like the primitive dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. for a second there. <clears throat> that was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. <laughs> so don't do it. I like that PSA there. Alright, uh, so I have a hamster. A cold, wet hamster. Uh... I'm not putting anything in there. I'm not putting anything nope. in there. Nah. No, that's not what I want. I'm go. not nope. putting anything in there. Hmm. Oh yeah, don't you just put them in the dryer? Uh, 
Uh, maybe I need a dime from Bernard. Uh, maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> Let's go check. There's a dryer. A washing machine. Okay, uh, I need to dry the hamster. Let's see if I can actually put the hamster in the dryer. Nah. Okay, I guess not. How else can I dry off the hamster? What do, what do I have? Okay. I think I should I should aim to do the mummy thing next. Let's let's do that. Um, all right. So next episode we're going to have another competitor here. <laughs> we got a spot as well for the new competitor. And uh, yeah, so we're almost done with Hoagie. Uh, Bernard's got a little bit to do. Um, Laverne's got quite a bit to do, so we're going to take care of some of that this next episode. Alright, check y'all later. Peace, God bless, and uh, yeah, I'll check you next time.